<laughs> Socorro in the house. Those of you that have not been to Socorro, you better go down there and take your truck because you're going to fill it up with green chile, right? <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Buenas noches. The food must be good. Can we thank all the servers and everyone who prepared the food tonight? And how about Domingo Garcia? Can we please give him another round of applause? It, it's an honor to be with everyone here tonight. Um, I had a chance to visit with our friend Domingo earlier in the week where I had the honor of joining the 50th anniversary of the educational initiatives of LULAC with hundreds of thousands of kids and millions of dollars that have gone to scholarships. That's all of you. Can we give you a round of applause? And Domingo me pre preguntó, he said, look, can you come on by Friday night? And I said, sir, if it's not an inconvenience to everybody and you're asking me, absolutely, Domingo, I'll do anything I can to help you and support you. And so here I am. Um, it's one of those moments, and I was sharing this with some of the leadership from the Army earlier, that you, you find yourself in rooms on occasions, and, and you pinch yourself in trying to figure out how you were invited, how you were able to partake. Because growing up, I was seated at a table in the back, if I was lucky, maybe sitting with mom and dad, and that was the only reason I was invited. And hearing these incredible speakers and being inspired and the motivation that would come out of the work of everyday friends from all over America that were standing up for justice, making a difference in the Latino community. And tonight, I get to talk to you. What can someone like me that grew up on a small farm, one of only two United States senators who went to Head Start? Now, I'm glad you clapped at that. I thought everybody went to Head Start. I didn't know you had to qualify for the program. How many of you went to Head Start? Round of applause. The next time we speak, that applause is going to get louder and louder because we're going to get more and more younger generations that are going to get a chance to go to Head Start, where families get a chance as well to be able to get to that job, where daycare is going to be more affordable, but where we're nurturing young people. This is one of the priorities of LULAC. This is one of your priorities, to expand educational initiatives from coast to coast, everywhere across America, in all of the territories. Everyone deserves a chance at Head Start. Everyone deserves a chance at early childhood education. Why you ask me? Well, they got me to the United States Senate. I'm very proud of that, that growing up, my father, who was a state representative, some of you know him, he served as Speaker of the House here in New Mexico. He passed away about 10 years ago due to lung cancer. My mom, Carmen, who retired from the local school district that I attended as well, who's healthy and strong. And our first lady, Clara Apodaca, was asking about mom, and she's doing very well. Can we thank Clara Apodaca for being here, by the way, tonight, everybody? You're going to honor Jerry Apodaca, who is one of our strongest Latino governors in our state's history. And I want to thank Lou Lack for doing that this evening. I want to recognize Ernie C. De Baca and the Hispano Roundtable here in Albuquerque. I understand that the Hispano Roundtable, Domingo, had something to do with encouraging and recruiting LULAC to hold the convention right here. Is that correct? If I saw the news correct earlier this week, it was $13 million in economic activity that you all produced. LULAC, muchísimas gracias. I want to recognize our Attorney General for the State of New Mexico. Raul Torres is with us tonight, and with the power of NASHA, I want to thank them for being with us as well. It's an honor to be with you and to, to be anywhere with you. My brother, Ivy Soto, Senor, good to be with you as well. Now, Domingo, it takes incredible staff to do the work here. And I know Juan has been stepping up day in and day out. He carries many hats. But Juan, I want to thank you for the work you've done, because these are not easy to put on. And with that being said, can we thank all the LULAC staff for what they did tonight? Now, I want to encourage you to eat your food, because what I, when I say 
something, if you drink more wine, it's going to sound a little bit better. So please indulge at your tables, and I'm going to try to keep this within the time allotted. Domingo asked me to share a little bit about some of the work that we were working on in the United States Senate. There's a lot of challenges, as you all know. One of those challenges Domingo touched on, you know, there's been a lot of people across America and there will soon will be around the world that learn more about Dr. Oppenheimer and the Manhattan Project. What they're not going to learn about are the families across New Mexico and across America and in our territories who are affected with radiation exposure. Like Domingo said, the first bomb tested on U.S. soil was right here in New Mexico, south of us in a community full of Latinos. They weren't given any warning. Some of them had their clothes on the line outside like we do to dry them and to get a little fresh air, and they found ash on that clothing. Those families have been diagnosed with cancer, with various chronic conditions. Most of them have passed away, but there's still many families fighting. Don't they deserve justice? Well, we're fighting to get them justice. And that's something that LULAC stands for every day, in and out. By the way, can we thank all the veterans who are here as well? Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Domingo was reminding me that LULAC was founded by veterans. Service to our country. Service to our people. But veterans that did not like the way that their brothers and sisters were being treated, looked down upon, not allowed to drink water, not allowed to be in the same room, not allowed, I mentioned in the same word with dogs. And they said, not on our watch. And every one of you has accepted that challenge to do right, to bring justice where it does not exist. That's one of the challenges that still exists in the Congress because the justice to our immigrant brothers and sisters, those that are undocumented, still has not been done. The dreamers in the room today, we should acknowledge them and their families. If we could give them a round of applause, please. Because so many dreamers said that, I'm stepping forward, I'm speaking up, I'm going to make sure that someone acts. And right now, the President of the United States does have an opportunity to further extend protections once and for all after they were undone by the previous one. You with me on that? I know we can do better. We can create wealth in the Latino communities in every corner of America, home ownership, making it a reality. And how about we start with getting more Latinos on the Federal Reserve Board? People that make decisions about where pensions go and where money goes. We can make a difference, and I know LULAC is leading the way. In every corner that we can, fighting with infrastructure investment, telecommunications, com connecting the country, LULAC has been there every step of the way fighting those injustices. So in closing, everyone, I want to say thank you. Muchisimas gracias. Saber es poder. Learn the facts. Learn what's happening. Get involved. Vote. Make sure you participate however you can. And we got a brother in Texas that's running right here in front of me, Senator Gutierrez. We can make a difference across America, everyone. Let's stand up to injustice and make a positive difference. Gracias por todo. Que Dios... Bendigan. Have a good night, everybody.